Many people are complaining about audio not playing on their computers. The no sound issue in VLC player can be easily solved, and we will help you do it. You will be back to watching that video in no time. Let's begin. Reset Preferences VLC is an advanced media player app and comes with an awful lot of ways to customize the user experience just the way you want it. Did you tweak a setting recently? Revert it if you remember what it was or reset the preferences. Click Tools to open Preferences. And you will find the Reset option at the bottom of the pop-up window. Click on it and see if problem solved. If not proceed to next method. Enable audio. Yes, there is an option to enable or disable audio in VLC. I am not sure why this option exists as anyone watching a video wants to hear the audio. And then, there are volume control options. Either way, go back to preferences. And under the Audio tab, you will find the Enable Audio option. Make sure it is checked. Click on it and see if problem solved. If not proceed to next method. Audio Settings. We will check the VLC app Audio Settings to check if tinkering around helps. Open VLC Preferences again and click on All Below Show Settings to reveal advanced options. Select Output Modules under the Audio tab. Choose Windows Multimedia Device Output from the drop-down menu. Save all settings and replay the video to check if audio is audible in VLC. If not, Open VLC Preferences again and click on All Below Show Settings to reveal advanced options. Open Output Modules under the Audio tab. Now, click on WAV out in the left sidebar menu. And choose your speaker Bluetooth device from the Select Audio Device drop-down menu. Close VLC and launch again to check if the VLC audio issue is resolved or not. Disable all enhancements. Search for and open control panel from the start menu. Go to hardware and sound. Sound. Select on speakers or your preferred sound source and select properties. Go to Enhancements. Check Disable All Enhancements click Apply and OK. Save all changes and reboot your computer once. Note that you should revert to the old setting if changing one doesn't solve the issue.